have a very interesting session. Today we are going to talk about Zoho Work Drive. From all the 50 plus applications that Zoho has, Work Drive is one of my most favorite applications. There are many reasons for it. The main reason, I think, is that Zoho Work Drive is a place that you can store files and folders, such as Dropbox. The only difference, when it's part of the Zoho ecosystem, Zoho Work Drive is complementing the data that you have in the other applications. For example, if in Zoho CRM, I will have a specific client, I will have the different details about the client, his name, his company name, deals, but what if the deal is supposed to have some recordings and videos and maybe some files? That will start to be heavy. And eventually I will need to pay Zo lots of money for the storage because Zo CRM is limited to one gigabyte of storage for the files. When you're using Zo Work Drive, you're getting five terabytes of space. Now, five terabytes of space is a lot. In my case, every time that I meet a client, I will record the session and the session will be uploaded automatically to World Drive. Now, for me, it's priceless because those recordings wait a lot. So they will have, you know, probably 200 megabytes for each recording. And I have lots of sessions. So though Work Drive allow me to have lots and lots of files and folders without paying anything extra to Zoho, which is very, very nice. In this session, I'm going to show you lots of stuff, so let's begin. First of all, whenever you go to Zoho Work Drive, you will see on the left side, like any other uh, files application, the old read, recent, favorite, all this junk, nothing too special. On the bottom, you will have uh, files and folders that you created, and in this case, uh, you click on the plus button to create a new folder, nothing too special. The only thing that I need to mention is that if you choose public, this folder is not public with the world. It's public with your company. All your company employees will be able to access this folder and the subfolders. If you choose private, only specific people that you will mention will be able to see this folder. So that's the only thing that is interesting about this setting. Now, whenever you uh, go to a specific folder, you can click on the plus button and then you can create a new folder or you can create different type of activities. In our case, for example, if you click on folder, you just name the folder. So that would be client uh, ERF, great name for a client. And uh, of course you can click in, in the folder and you can create more files or more folders uh, inside this folder. Uh, when I'm saying files, you can create a Word document, you can create an Excel sheet or a PowerPoint presentation. And of course, Zoho named it in a different way so they won't get sued. It's writer, sheet, and, 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 and show. Now, whenever you are going to a specific folder, you have a way to share this folder with more people. Now, what happened, for example, if I like to have my client uploading files for me to this folder. So let's assume that client ERF, this is my client, I would like to create here another folder named client uploads and another folder that will be internal. So the internal will be used only for my team and client uploads will be used for my client. So in this case, I can click here on the check mark I can go here to the share, I will click on the drop down and I will click on new external share link. In this case, the client will be able to upload files and see them. So let's check it out. So if I'm going to new external share link, uh, let's say that the client name is Adam and you can see that I have different type of permissions, view, upload and edit. In my case, I like my client to be able to upload files. So I will go with upload. Now, if I like to make it more secure, I can click on password and I can set some kind of a password in this space. Now, 
You can also allow the person to download the files if you like. If not, you can just turn it off and it will be able only to upload and view, but it will not be able to download. Now, let's click on create. And once you create this uh, folder, you can see that you have here a new link. This link is crazy link, so it's difficult to guess this type of a link. And you can see also that is here it says zoexternal.com. And it's much different than workdrive.zo.com. This is how basically you know that this is an external link. Now, let's say that your client is accessing this folder he will need to provide this uh, password that we set for him and when he will click on it he will be able to upload files into the space so let's uh, drag and drop uh, a file uh, to this folder and now this file was uploaded here and if I will go to my client TRF you can see that I have here an unread file Basically, it's a file that I need to check and see what's going on. When I click on it, I verify that this is the correct file and I can click on mark as read. So I will not need to uh, uh, check it in the future, right? It's like your inbox, but it's an inbox for files, not for emails. Brilliant. I love it. Now, when I'm going to client ERF and I'm going to client uploads, I can see this file. Now, when the client is going here, let's say that the client wants to delete the file, he will not be able to do it because this permission is not for him. If we will be able to provide him more permissions, he will be able to do more. But in this case, he can only download, he can view, and that's it. Okay, so that's uh, for the client side. I also wanted to show you something very cool. Let's say that you have here this file now, as you can see here, the file is not including anything that is related to the company or the project or anything like that. So whenever I will try to search, it will not know that this is the mini logo of Amazing Business Results and the project is, you know, a new website. So in that case, Zo provided us something very cool. And if you click on the file and then you click on the show info, you will see that I am able to associate files with data templates. So I created in advance a data template and I will show you in a second also how to do it. But the, the name of this data template is projects. And when I click on it, I can provide here the name of the company. The project is uh, with a new website and if the client, uh, if this uh, project has a signed agreement, let's say yes and associate. So at that point, because Zo now has a template assigned to this specific file, I will be able to go to the search and instead of searching for the files, I will go to data templates. I will select the projects. And here, for example, I can add a criteria to the projects and I can say, for example, that uh, uh, the project starts with new website. And now I will get, I think it's, uh, I did it new website with uh, capital, uh, one second, project starts with new, let's search, yeah. So whenever you do the search, you can also filter based on the data that you input into the data templates, which is great. So now you have a way without renaming the file name. And now you have a way to search based on the characteristic of the file and not based on the file name, which I think it's very, very good. Another thing that I really like about Work Drive is that I can just go to a folder, I can just drag and drop the file, and then it will immediately appear in the, in the folder. So you can grab a few files, you just drag and drop them, you see the process on the right side. Very, very nice. Now, let's assume that I like to mark this file as checked out, which means 
whenever I click on checkout, no one will be able to have any kind of changes to this file. In this case, it's a PNG, not a great example, but let's assume that this is a Word document or instead of assuming, all those assumptions uh, can kill us. So let's not assume anything. Let's create here a document. Uh, this is a great doc. And now we'll give it a name. It's a great doc. Once you're ready, you just click on draft. Uh, I will mark it as ready. And now this file can be accessible with more people. If I will go back to my uh, list, you can see that I have the gray doc. I can click on the check mark. I can click on the three do dots and then you will see an option named checkout. Now the checkout, if I will click on it and I will check out, now this version of the file will be locked. So other users will not be able to make changes to it while I am able to make changes to it, but other people will not see the changes they will see the locked version, okay? Think about it like a revision control, just you can lock it for other people, but not to yourself. Another common question is, okay, I, I like Zo Work Drive, but I do use Google Drive or I use uh, Dropbox. How do I convert from them to Work Drive? What I did, I just go to the admin panel and then I downloaded Zo Work Drive you see here, download work drive. I downloaded Zo work drive to my computer and now it's a folder in my computer. From the other side, they also did the same on Google Drive, which that was my repository of files. When I have Google work drive on my computer and I have also Zo work drive on my computer, I waited for Google Drive to sync all its files to this folder and then I just copy paste the entire structure into my work drive. And voila, you have everything there. So it took me about, it's a, like a weekend. So it took me a weekend for about 200 gigabytes of files. And that was over the weekend and it was all converted into work drive. And since then I'm not touching my Google Drive. I just work on Zoho work drive. So that was a way for me to do it. But of course, you can also drag and drop files and do it yourself. I'm lazy. So I did it like that. Another cool thing that Zoho work drive has is the dashboard. When you click on the dashboard, you can see, you know, users, invites. You can see files that will change. You can see the activity. You can see uploads, previous creates. It's really nice. And you also see the consumption of your, your bandwidth and the consumption of your storage, which as I said, it's five terabytes, which is 5,000 gigabytes. Insane amount of data, which you have here. Zo also provides the activity section. Think about the activity as reports. So when you click on the reports or the activity, you will be able to see all your users. Let's assume that you like to create some kind of an audit for one of your employees for the day, because he said that he did not delete something and you think that he did. So you just mark the person, you click on generate report and you see all his transaction and everything that he did. And you can also change the criteria here and you can change, for example, only uh, rename and only trash and delete. So all those that are interest to me I will just select them and then you will be able to see only those specific actions. So the activity section is great for accountability and just to make sure that people are doing what they're supposed to do. Another thing that I like about uh, Zo Work Drive is that uh, let's say that this is a very important file for me and I know that the clients might be editing this specific folder or this specific document. I can click on the document and I can follow the updates. So if I will click on that, that will provide an email notification and also this bell on the top will be read whenever changes will be made to this specific file. So now I started to follow this specific file. Every change will have the bell and an email notification. Very, very cool. The last thing that I really like uh, about uh, uh, this uh, work drive 
is that it can be merged, I would not say integrated, but really merged into CRM. In uh, my live system, as an example, whenever a deal is being created, you will see a section on the bottom and the section will be work drive and it will automatically produce, it will create a folder, same like here, it will create a folder for this deal. Inside this folder, you will have client facing folder, which my clients will see all the recordings of our sessions. And also there will be an internal folder for agreements and everything that is very important for me. So the bottom line is you can have in Zo CRM, you can have Zo work drive lives in it. So the files are really being stored on Zo work drive while Zo CRM will have a link to the project or the deal files. Wonderful. So this is the video that I wanted to share with you today. If you like the video, thumbs up is always appreciated. If you have any comments, shoot them in the comments below. Thank you very much for spending this beautiful day with me. I will see you in the next session. Mm.